passengers people. What are we saying? Passengers fan page. Pass, hello. We are here to answer your questions about medicine. <laughs> we are gonna we're gonna select from this stack of cards. Pick a card, any card. Ooh. You go first. Just this is happening live right now. The top one. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Jennifer, which real housewife would you take on the Avalon? <gasps> um, Throw it. Throw the card. Oh, Kyle from Beverly Hills. There's a housewife named Kyle? Yeah. Huh. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was disrespectful. Was it disrespectful <laughs> to Kyle? Yeah. That's a it's I'm, that's an interesting name. Kyle Richards. That's her name. I love I love that. I love when when You're class, about to get yourself typically, kicked out of this Facebook. Typically uh I love I just love the house. You know how I want to love the house. <laughs> My turn. Oh sorry, I didn't do the fan thing. Okay. What is oh, it? Take... I'll ask him. Describe your character in three words. That's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, three words. Uh, mechanic, pioneer, Jim. <laughs> His name is Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Jim, mechanic, well done. pioneer. Okay. Jennifer. That's crazy. That was crazy. How'd you know it was going to be No, that actually was pretty perfect. What made it, what motivated you to start acting? Ooh. Um... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess, compulsive lying. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, I don't know. I just kind of got. I I used to. It's like when you look back, it's like you can see everything was there. You know, I'd like watch TV and then I'd repeat everything everybody was doing, and I don't know, weird different thing. And then when I was in New York, I got like discovered, and um, and then ever they were like, "Do you want to be an actor?" And I was like, "Yeah," and then. I have a really bad story for how to start. You know what? I'm going to come up with something that's a complete lie. Yeah. And I'm going to talk it over with my publicist tonight. Well, and I'm going to have a better story tomorrow. Do you think that, like, because I had a similar similar kind of experience where it's like, it made me, it makes me believe a little bit in fate, you know? Because, I mean, there are a lot of people out there who really want to to be actors and, and, and there's a certain element of it that's out of your control. Yeah. You know, like you can go to school for it and you can study it and you can be passionate about movies and you can be passionate about filmmaking and, you know, you can practice and all that stuff, but it doesn't, and, and, you know, it doesn't necessarily, there's sometimes, there's a, it doesn't matter how much you want to do it or try to do or, it. Or unfortunately how good you are. Yeah, or yeah, there's there's a plenty of people out there far more talented than me that will never be given the opportunity. So yeah. I think there's an element of faith in there and I think it's important to have with that faith, you know, a sense of gratitude for, for what's happened. So ready? Yep. Oh, you asked. Wait, me. no, I asked. Uh, no good. No good. It just was. I just we've answered it too many times. Oh. Um, if you had to be stuck in one place for ninety years, where where would it be? <laughs> right on my face. Right. In <laughs> Jen's eye. Um, if I if I had to be stuck anywhere for ninety years. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'd say the airport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I would say um, on like a on a bass lake. That is so you. Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> on a bass lake. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd catch all the fish. That's adorable. If given the chance, would you travel to space? Interesting. I haven't been asked that question while promoting this movie. Really? Uh, me neither. That's a good one. Um, I would. I mean, I don't think it would happen. I, I think that amazing. That'll be a cool effect. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like in our lifetime it's going to be figured out enough and be safe enough to do it. But I would advise my great 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 grandchildren to do it if they ever get the chance. Okay. You're hearing that, kids? Uh... You're not. Now go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Thirty five hundred years in the future. I was gonna say thirty-five, but that wasn't enough. Yeah, not so I enough. Added for a couple of zeros. Four generations of yeah, yeah, thirty-five. Yeah. Thirty-five years, I should have. <laughs> Your great, great, great grandmother. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're slippery. Chris, 
Wow. Whoa. What's happening? We're really not doing That's that. me. Um, Chris, <laughs> this is a good one. Chris, if you had a theme song, what would it be? If I had a theme song? Well, you know the song. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good song. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, my theme song would be. Mm, oh, yeah, the, the song from Dumb and Dumber. Dumb Dumber. Yeah. No, the opening song. Dumb yeah, the opening song from Dumb and Dumber. Look that up. That's my. Yeah. That's my theme song. Cool. Anything by that band. Okay. You'll keep grabbing off the top, but okay. <laughs> Ooh. It takes you a long time to read. <laughs> what is your favorite space movie besides Passengers? Um. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I guess cut her, sorry. cut her right, right across the right. She's playing. She's a lot of fun. Um, I really liked Interstellar. I thought Interstellar was awesome. Um, obviously there's Spaceballs. Mm-hmm. Uh. I wish I could say 2001 Space Odyssey by Stanley Kubrick, but I have not seen it. <laughs> oh. That would have been a very good answer. Yeah. I so I guess I'll have I to stick with space balls. I haven't seen it either. Yeah, I know. But I've, I think I've... We'll watch I, it on a plane. We'll watch it on a plane together. Yeah. The, where exactly where Kubrick designed his artwork to be seen. Yeah. On a watch seven it on inch an screen on the back of his yeah. seat. Yeah, <laughs> with headphones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. If you could buy one thing that starts with the first letter of your name, what would it be and why? If I could buy one, that's what an interesting question. You've got a lot I of good options. You've say, got your crystal, you've got your car, you've got yeah. your Cadillac. Yeah, <laughs> you got your car, your crystal, your Cadillac, you got a... Uh, Crisco oh. oil. <laughs> <laughs> Crisco! That's what I would buy. Crisco oil. Stock. I'd have a pool full of Crisco. Ooh, that would be... Moisturizing. <laughs> Crisco, thank you for that question. I like that question. Um, now my turn to ask you a question. Yeah, I won't pull from the top. Yeah. Because that's just dumb. Passengers opens December 21st. What was the most <laughs> physically challenging part of the film? Um, probably all the laughing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go fuck yeah. myself. Yeah, whoa, you can't um, say that. Sorry. <gasps> um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to hit the camera, but I'm hitting these the people behind the camera, and they are getting injured. Innocent <laughs> folks. Um, the physically, probably the, the um, anti-gravity stuff in the harness with the spacesuits, because the spacesuits yeah. were so heavy. And they, were, they were like, float your arms up. And I was like, I can't. Can't feel my arms. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it, Captain. Uh. <laughs> Was there any pranking on set? There was one moment where a light bulb exploded close by, and Jen screamed, a high-pitched scream that only oh. Jen could do, and she immediately, and no one, it was just Jen and I sitting in this corner, no one was paying attention to us. They heard this scream, looked over at us, and Jen said, oh my God, Pratt, you scream exactly like a woman. <laughs> did, all, did you guys just hear Chris scream? That's like not the best prank. You had to be there. You had to be there. I don't feel really like important. they're laughing. You don't think they're laughing? Yeah, the people in the phone. Oh. Not you, nice people. Um, Anyways, we didn't really prank each other that much. No, we mostly just told, told jokes, jokes and then dissected each other's jokes. jokes. Explained to the other one why it was funny. Yeah. Can you explain to them why? What do you admire most about the character your co-star played? Um, what I liked about Jim is that he was a, a traditionalist, and he was like many people. Um, he wanted a job, and he wanted to work, and he was good with his hands. He wanted to fix stuff, but Earth didn't need fixing anymore, and so he, you know, he wanted to uh, do something about it. Mm -hmm. And um, I liked the, you know, nothing. <laughs> you liked nothing. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and for me, uh, oh, I don't have to answer that because it wasn't my question. <laughs> oh, we're wrapping it up. All right, this is it. We're gonna go one last question. These are all submitted by the fans, so if your question hasn't been answered yet, it could be one of these. Jen, do oh, the honors. Goodness. You pick it, and I'll ask it because I'll, okay. I'll I'll ask you because. 
It's the last one. It's got to be good. Nope. Oh. Jennifer, would you bring Pippi on the Avalon? Oh, my God. Oh, can I keep this? Oh, Pippi, girl. Pippi would be really freaked out. But um, if I go, Pippi goes. Yeah. You know? For those of you who don't know, Pippi is Jen's beautiful and adorable little dog. Pippi Lawrence Stocking. She's Lawrence Stocking. God made her special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has a little, has a little okay. bow. She's she saying, she's okay. Anyways, guys, <laughs> that's uh, that's 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 pretty much uh, gonna wrap it up for us. Go see Passengers on December twenty first. Sure, you don't want to hear the Pippi song. <laughs> Tune in Sorry. next Passengers. time to hear Jen's amazing song about Pippi Lawrence stalking her little uh, puppy. <laughs>